Hey, what's up, folks? Welcome to Life with Brock. And I am testing out this live feed because tomorrow I have something special happening here on the channel. And I'm glad I'm testing it out because I'm hearing myself talk and it's awful. That is so much better. Hey, what's up, Peachy? Raymond, what's going on? Let me know if you can. How's the volume? How do you hear me? I hope you guys can hear me. Can you guys hear me? Raymond Peachy, I know there's a delay. But anyway, I have some boxes to open and to make that announcement. Oh, it sounds good. Thanks, Sierra. I'm wearing a little beanie today. It's cold here in California. And a sweater. What's up, Kenta? All right, all right. TDG, welcome. Pence quiz the big? <laughs> How's that? <laughs> I probably butchered your name. All right, I'm going to wait until, uh, oh, there's 11 of you in here. All right, just a couple more. I got some boxes, some stuff, some stuff to open. And then, uh, but I want to make the announcement first. What's up, Phil? Knight of Wren, welcome. Hey, Jetta Patrol, crack a lacking. Okay, so pin squeeze the bick. <laughs> I'm killing you, bro. I'm killing you. All right, look. So uh, we're coming to the end of 2018. And uh, if, you're, if you're like me, and that's why you're on this channel, you collect a lot of figures. Obviously, I do a lot of custom, uh, custom figures, but I'm also uh, obviously a collector. Love all things Marvel, DC. By the way, uh, if you haven't seen Into the Spider-Verse, please. Do yourself a favor and go watch it. Uh, that's a movie that I can see myself watching many, many times over and seeing something new. But hey, we're not here to talk about Into the Spider-Verse tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday, right? Is today Saturday? <laughs> yeah, okay. So tomorrow at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time here at Life with Brock, I am hosting a collector spotlight Collector Spotlight is something that I started earlier this year where I would invite nerds from all over the nerd world, okay? YouTubers, um, our artists, ACBA artists, uh, customizers, and I would pretty much do an interview. But Collector Spotlight also did like a WWE uh, WrestleMania special edition. I had uh, Harry on here discussing the WrestleMania event. So Collector Spotlight's kind of taken – like a broader name. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm having a few of my my buds come and discuss their top five figures of 2018. Uh, tomorrow we'll have Plastic Attic, Doo Dog, uh, Matt. Uh, he goes by Tech Chucker and T Man 978, and we will be discussing our top five picks for 2018. We all have many different preferences, so you're going to see us discuss. Uh, it's going to be Pretty multifaceted, I can imagine. If Jetta Patrol's still in here, Jetta Patrol, I can guarantee you, I can, with 100% certainty, there won't be any pops. If you want to go check out the top pops, go over to Jetta Patrol's channel. He is the king of pop. Not Michael, but he does a lot of pops on his channel. So we'll, anyways, we're going to be having a chat. Please come join us tomorrow at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's for you at uh, 10 p.m. in the East Coast. You know what I'm saying? And we are going to be discussing all those figures. It's not easy. It is not easy to pick a top five. I know people do like top 10 and they can't even do top 10s. Well, I've made these guys pick their top five figures for 2018. What happened here? Oh, I am muted. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was the, what's happening? I'm trying to go over here to the chat so I can see what you guys are saying. Uh, Sierra Whiskey says, I'll post pics of that Swamp Think we talked about on IG. Are oh, awesome. Uh, I actually just bought Swamp. No, not Swamp Thing. I bought uh, the opposite, the one on Marvel, and it's coming in the mail, the Build-A-Figure from uh, the Daredevil Wave a little while ago. 
Uh, there may be some Star Wars Black Series coming uh, tomorrow's list. I don't know. I don't know. It hasn't been a Star Wars year for me. If you guys followed me in 2008 and 17, you know I went crazy over Star Wars. And Black Series had a great 2018. I've picked up some of the figures. Matter of fact, my wife uh, gifted me some uh, for Christmas. I'm not sure if they're going to be making them on my list, though. I don't know. See, with my collecting, it's it's been it varies. It comes and goes in waves. You guys can probably uh, identify with that. When I first started collecting, the reason I got into collecting in the first place was Transformers, and that was my thing. Transformers. I went absolutely crazy with Transformers for the first couple of years, and then I ventured out into the Marvel Legends world, and I will be releasing a video possibly today or maybe next week is that uh, repainted Marvel Select Hulk <sighs> juggernaut. That was my first figure into that uh, venture. Matter of fact, I remember telling my wife, hey, honey, I'm just going to get one. Now here, probably some odd 500 figures later, uh, I've gotten into Marvel Legends. But last year was definitely my Star Wars breakout year. No, you know, hashtag no stormtrooper left behind. I went on that campaign for a while, so I got a bunch of stormtroopers. It's crazy. It's ridiculous, actually. But we'll see what these guys. Uh, I, I know that uh, Plastic Attic is a huge Star Wars fan, so I'm guessing he's going to have something on on there. I think uh, Doo Dog is also a, a Star Wars fan, but I'm not expecting Star Wars from his list. I'm pretty sure Tech Chucker is not going to have a Star Wars on his list. I'm guessing. It's going to be some sort of predator. I'm just guessing. I don't know. I don't know this. We have, matter of fact, I told him I didn't want to discuss it ahead of time because I wanted to be surprised. You guys are chat. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm, I got I got on a soapbox and I, I forgot. Special K, welcome to the chat. Ace Outlaw Customs. What is up, dude? Yeah, I think that 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 stream will be crazy, Jetta. Um, what are you doing? Uh, are, have you released the top 10 list? Your stuff is so good. You're so well done on your channel. I just don't like pops, man. But a lot of people do. And you do a, like your video quality, the way you uh, produce your things over there is very enjoyable to watch. I've, I've seen quite a few of it, even though I don't like pops. Hey, speaking of tech checker, he's in here. So uh, Knight of Ren says he's, oh, I either collect Black Series or Marvel Legends. I'm sure someone is either going to have a Black Series or a Marvel Legend in their top five figure. I've limited a top five figure because there's five of us. So that's going to be, essentially, we're going to be talking about 25 figures tomorrow. There may be some overlap. I don't know. But uh, the, the group that we have, like T-Man is known for his Transformers. Doodog is really known for his Marvel Legends. But he's been collecting us a plethora of th uh, stuff this year. George has been uh, George's plastic attic. George, you know George Johnson. It's known. It's known. It's not a secret. Uh, plastic attic. He collects a very like he's collected storm collector. You guys are gonna see a ton of figures tomorrow. I have a feeling that Matt Tech Chucker. He's gonna have a predator on that list. I'm not a prophet nor the son of a prophet, but I'm guessing that's what's gonna happen. Hey, that's what I like to see. Jetta Patrol says uh, tons of hot toys. That's another. Uh, I haven't. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Doo Dogs collected some hot toys. I don't want to even cross that line because I want to stay married. I love my wife. I want to stay married. That's that's too much. I can't. I can't do it. It's very appealing, but I can't do it. No space. No space. What's up, Apurva? What up, player? Gabriel, bienvenido. What's up, Hector? Gamer, la gia. Hello to you. I, I'm way down in the chat. I'll, I'll get there, guys. I'll, I'm getting there. I won't say another thing until I get through the whole entire chat. I promise. If Mafex, Justice League Batman isn't mentioned tomorrow, I don't know what to tell you, man. Well, I don't have that figure. I don't have that Justice League Batman figure from Mafex. Matter of fact, I do have a Mafex Batman, but I'm chopping him up. He's going to be part of Nightwing. Matter of fact, he's already part of Nightwing. 
Hector Preciado de México, bienvenido al canal. Ten Bones, what's up? <laughs> Tech Chucker says, oh, Jetta called Matt Tech Chucker the hero. Concho Chico. Did I get it right? <laughs> Gamer, did I get it right? All right, Raymond Grilgan, Gas. What's up? What's up? What's up? All right. So, uh, you have you guys? You guys have seen the sales that are going on. I, I'll get me. Let me. Uh, let me bring this over here real quick. So, uh, what'd you get? This you get this at Walmart or Target? All right. So Target's been having uh, these go on clearance. I think. I think this is going to go for cheaper than that eventually. And I just realized that I didn't flip my channel. Are you guys, can you read this normally or is it backwards? I just noticed not to check. Is this backwards on you? Is this all backwards? Or is it, are you guys seeing it correctly? Because I didn't flip my channel. I wonder if flipping it on here is for my benefit. You know, I wish Google hang Hangouts, uh, when I first started doing it at the beginning of the year, they had the uh, the lower third screen here. You did not get it right, but it's fine. People do it a lot. Okay, so this, oh, I did not get it right. You're talking about the name. So we're good. So you guys are seeing this uh, correctly? I just want to know. I, my brain won't let me continue. It's forward. Okay, so that, that means it's good then. <laughs> it's written correctly. It's from left to right on your screen. Okay, good. Not on my screen, but anyways, these guys have been going on sale. Uh, my buddy uh, Eric Sarton picked up a uh, two-pack for me, the uh, the one with, uh, I forget, I forget the character's name, but Killmonger, he has the unmasked face. It was 20 bucks at Target. That's $10 a figure. That's that's not bad. And I wanted a Killmonger figure. I really don't collect the, the movie verse. But check out your targets if you're into these two packs. Uh, I don't think they're going to last very long at that price, to be honest. That's why I kind of jumped on it. I'm going to hold on to this one. This one may go lower. But then again, Into the Spider-Verse is such an amazing piece of art. It's a piece of it, the acting's phenomenal. The voice acting's phenomenal. The uh, the graphics. Like some people were thinking, oh, man, I don't know about that comic book feel. To it. it is unbelievable it is one of it's probably my favorite uh film of the year next to maybe the uh the uh, avengers movie yeah i would have to say that they're they're in the top two for me and i think man this this is going to give it a run for its money it is so good and i this that's why that's the only reason i say that maybe uh these won't last on the shelf i don't know Everett Ross, thank you very much. I'm gonna hold on to that just in case it, it drops by like $10, $15 in the next uh, month or so. All right, so have you heard of a store called Five Below? Okay, so Five Below is a store around here. It's kind of like a 99 cent store, Ross, but they sell stuff for $5 and below, and that's exactly what they are. And my wife's been able to find some of these figures. Uh, I initially did not collect DC uh, because I, I'm I just don't I, I really don't care much for the figures but I've been picking and choosing and if you've been following me you've seen some of the pickups that I've had and uh, the build of figures tend to be really really nice really really nice and uh, I had originally picked this guy up and maybe another part I can't remember what was the other figure it, it, it may have been this Wonder Woman uh, for the pieces and I was actually going to custom a DC Ares but at five dollars per figure Let's build an Ares Hey, what's up solo hunter? Welcome to the chat if you guys are joining this chat and there's 37 watching here, please Please join us tomorrow at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thanks, honey Coffee from my favorite president Actually, my wife made it, but my favorite president of all time, Ronald Reagan. 7, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time here in the channel. We're going to be discussing the top five figures. It's going to be Tech Chucker, Plastic Addict, T-Man 978, and Do Dog Reviews, and me. And it's going to be a round-robin format. Come join us. Be there or be the square. I know. We picked the time. We're all in different. Like, George is in Hawaii. We got, we got a couple of, um, actually, the rest of them are in 
are in the East Coast, and here I am in the Pacific Standard Time. So if you're able to make it Sunday night, join us. Let's open this figure. Yeah, I'm building Aries right now. So, oh, TDG, you're in Australia? You know what? Okay, there's 40 of you in here right now. Please drop your uh, your country, the country that you're in right now. If you're in the United States, you can put USA, baby. I want to know who we have over here. Just plan them. Set a reminder. Set a timing reminder. All right, I'm going to leave the, the figures in the package because all I care about right now is Aries, unless you guys want to see one of these figures. This was uh, Steve Trevor. And uh, Steve Trevor, the actor that played Steve Trevor, he voiced uh, Peter Parker. Is that right? Am I right? Senora. Senora. Steve Trevor, the actor in Wonder Woman. He uh, voiced uh, Peter Parker, right? One of the Peter Parkers. The one that dies? You guys didn't hear that. All right, here we go. Here are the countries represented so far in this chat. We got USA. We got some Texas. Texas is own country. <laughs> 10 bones. I know you Texans think Texas is your own. Well, Californians do too, player. That's why I want to get the heck out of here. I want to stay part of the union. Florida. Why am I in the dark? Well, it's the lighting. So tomorrow night, it's going to be dark outside. All I have is I have one light on me right now. That's the best I could do. Phil says he's in Beverly, Massachusetts. Oh, you're testing my uh, acronyms, huh? See if I can get it. Where, where, where are the people from different countries? I thought we had the Republic of Texas, he says. Nicaragua, Juan. Where, are you literally in Nic Nicaragua ahora mismo? Or are you from Nicaragua? Because, hey, I'm from Cuba, player, but I'm in the USA. Mexico, 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 Mexico. Uh, so we have somebody uh, I know from Australia, unless he he uh, uh, bailed out. And there's more than people. Come on, people. Put it down. I want to know. I'm international to right now. I, that's, it makes me feel good. Like I'm, like I'm reaching out across and like, hey, I'm going to talk toys. Aquí en, en California a Nicaragua. Uh-oh, MS. That's not Massachusetts. Minnesota? Is that Minnesota? No, that Minnesota is MN. Any any assistance? Should, my wife will know. Mississippi. Oh, that's it. M I S S I P P I. All right. I feel like I'm out of control of me. Whew. Recenter myself. Let's open another figure. This is going to be Wonder Woman. So so far we have the torso. Let me see if I can get the the light the lighting a little bit better. It's not going to be like uh, like I have it on my workbench, aka the kitchen table. I am on my uh, second workbench, aka the the family desk. It's really well done, man. Uh, they did a good job with this paint. When I originally saw it, I just thought it was a little bit on the small side, and I wanted Aries to be bigger. But hey, almost abrir esto. Abrir means to open in Spanish. Esto means this. Vamos a abrir esto. How did I miss all this? Oh, so Juan is in Nicaragua. Eh. You know, too bad this, this figure didn't have the face printing that they're coming out with now, like on some of the Black Series figures and Marvel Legend, uh, because it's actually a decent sculpt. It's just not painted well. I said I wasn't going to show you any of these, uh, because it's not really a, a good format here to show you the figures, but we're going to build it. That's the uh, lower torso portion. 
Compton, California. Silver Full Gulf. In the hood. Compton. New Bedford, Massachusetts. New Bedford. New Bedford, Massachusetts. That's about as good as I, I get, player. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Man, across the nation. And international here. Nice. So you're missing one of these figures for Aries. Which one's that? Gamer. Gamer. La Gia. So Connecticut. King Shark, huh? So at uh, TDG, did you find that? Wait a second. You're, you're in Australia, you said, right? Do they have a five below in Australia? All right. All right, Mike. Sorry, I won't do that again. That was a terrible Australian accent. That's not a knife. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, can't I can't resist the cheap jokes. See a tech checker. So speaking of dude dog, he's he's here in the chat right now. Symbiote Seeker. Symbiote Seeker. Is this the same Symbiote Seeker from Instagram? Customizer Extraordinaire. All right, so this lady, I think she was originally difficult to find. I, I, I can't remember. I wasn't collecting. Uh, I don't really get these uh, movie figures, whether they be Marvel Legends or DC. What are these multiverse? I don't know what they're calling these. But now that Mattel, I wonder what's going to happen to these figures. I wonder who's going to be producing the superhero genre. Oh, they, serious? Why would you put a rubber band on this? Really what I'm doing here is plugging tomorrow's event. So we got 40 now. Uh, it'd be great if you let your, your, your people know, your nerd friends know that we're going to be doing this tomorrow. And uh, you're going to have some other YouTubers on here that you're – I'm sure if you're subscribed to me, you're going to be subscribed to some of these folks. And if not, you're going to be become familiar with some of them and see if you like their stuff. See, uh, I'm, I'm guessing that uh, these guys are going to be picking the top five figures that – uh, obviously, they've, they've most likely reviewed these. Uh, a lot of these guys that are, are actually all of them do reviews of figures on their channel. Tech Trucker uh, hasn't been doing much lately, uh, but he will be releasing stuff in the new year. Dude Dog is uh, like multiple times a week. That guy is very committed to keeping the nerd world informed. T Man 978, uh, he's not here, so I'm not going to say anything good about him. Just kidding, T Man. But uh, T-Man's Transformer, and I, I know I'm missing something. Oh, Plastic Addict! Plastic Addict. These guys are going to be showing the figures that they uh, as collectors. And these guys have been collecting uh, for a while now. I think there's a, few, a handful of us that have been collecting four to five years. And I think T-Man's been collecting since he was two. And uh, so he's been collecting for about 55 years now. And uh, so they've seen the change of figures. They, see, they understand what qual what a quality figure looks like. But we're all going to have different opinions. We're all going to be coming from a different angle. And like I mentioned before, for me, uh, at one point it was Transformers. And that's all I thought about. That's all I looked for. And then it moved on to uh, the action, like the more like uh, superhero uh, genre. And then I started customizing, and then I, I've taken a whole new outlook on figures. And these guys are going to have that um, as well. Okay, let me get on this chat. Haiti in the house, Tron Arts. We got somebody from Detroit, Bristol, Connecticut. And Symbiote Secret, yep, that's him from, uh, you guys saw him if you if you followed my uh, This Week in Customs. By the way, I'll be releasing that a little bit later today, my week number three. Symbiote Seeker is a pretty talented uh, customizer. Same with uh, Ace Outlaw Customs. He was in here earlier. Dude, Huck sets is going to be crappy verse. <laughs> so, oh, the cheapest figures there go for 10 
to 15 bucks. Ouch. Spin Master. Which one's that? Oh, the, hmm, I don't, you know, I think they make cheap figures. And I don't mean by, they make less expensive figures. So I don't think that's good news. I really don't think that's going to be good news for, for DC figures. Unfortunately, that's too bad. However, you do you guys know that in, I think it's 2020. So in about a, a year from now, Hasbro, Hasbro's contracts ending with uh, with Marvel to make figures. So I don't know if they'll be able to if they'll get resigned or if Mattel is going to make a push for that. Uh, I don't like that. Oh, whew. I thought I opened the same figure over and over, and I didn't pay attention. So these are the arms. We're almost getting there. We're going to build it, and then I'll be getting off. And I'm going to go and film the, the This Week in Customs. I actually have another figure here to read. Who, who, uh, how many of you in here think you'll make it tomorrow? By Ace. <laughs> Raymond Grogan thinks I look like Josh Brolin. You know who I've heard uh, before? Do you think I look like Josh Brolin? Josh Brolin. My wife just corrected me. I apologize for mispronouncing names. English is not my first language. Do you think I look like Josh Brolin? It's probably the jaw. And I'm and I'm on the chunky side right now, so maybe even when I thin up. But you know, I heard uh, I, I've heard a lot since I was young I, that I look like uh, the bad guy from Titanic. What's his name? My wife's shaking her head like she doesn't see it. What's that guy's name? He he was in um, that purple character, <laughs> that superhero, the purple purple superhero. Juan Fiallo says he's in Central America. I lived uh, in Central America for a little bit. Roundhead Collector, que pasó, chico? Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in the house. Billy Zane, yeah, that's I've heard Billy Zane for such a long time. And then when I was like 19, I heard, um, who played Superman? There's a guy that played Superman on TV. Dean Kane. I heard Dean Kane also. Uh, I, I, he's too pretty uh, for me to look like him. You know what I mean? The Phantom, yeah, the Phantom. Yeah, but I remember him as the bad guy from Titanic. Third World Collector. Soy un gran fan de tus videos y customs. Checa mi canal y dime qué opinas. Okay, muy bien. Lo, lo voy a chequear. No, not Purple Man. No, no, no. Uh, they got it. The Phantom. All right, let's let's put this guy together. Actually, before I put this guy together, let me see the knowledge that you all have, and and I'm gonna have to turn this around so you get you don't get a hint of who I'm gonna show. Let's see who the first one is. You guys ready to figure out the name of this character that I'm about to bring on screen? What's up, Kyrus? George Clooney. George Clooney. I got a George Clooney. My wife's got gun now. <laughs> you don't yeah george clooney's higher he's he's better oh she says no hey all right so i'm gonna bring this character on screen let's see who the fastest person to figure out who this character is here we go <laughs> Let's see who's going to be the first one to figure out who this character is. Does it? Ah, Peachy got it. Peachy got it. He was the first one. Sierra Whiskey number two. <laughs> Camera's like, oh my goodness, what is that? 
Uh, Symbiote Seeker also got it. Batman Plastic had no idea who this was. Yeah, so this is Sugar Man. So Sugar Man, he's got a little tattoo on the side there. Sorry about the uh, the shadows. Is an X Men villain. My wife could not believe that I that I brought this into her house. I just need to put uh, new batteries in, uh, but it does talk. Uh, I'm probably going to give him a repaint and uh, make him look a little bit uh, a little bit better. And I was even thinking that I'd, I'd give him new legs. I don't know. But uh, I, I'm into these uh, just interesting characters. I saw, you know where I saw this guy? I think I first saw this character on uh, Talker Art's channel. Talker Art has a humongous collection. And if you ever see, I mean, it's just, he's got a, a, a fairly big room of all these different genres of figures and he just likes figures like the action he's he's not necessarily like married to their um what would you call their their mythology he's just interesting and in, in, in like a cool looking action figure i can resist this thing is just so odd so odd looking and it's an x-men villain it's an x-men villain i don't think they're ever hasbro is never gonna make a sugar man I can't imagine why they would. It's such a, what is that? What is that? Oh no, we got a leak and it's sounding. But anyway, sorry, I got distracted. Oh, is it Toy Biz? Let me see. It's made in China <laughs> and it is, uh, Toy Biz made this. It's right here in this foot. You won't be able to see it. Made it in 1996. 1996, before some of you were born. <laughs> this figure is older than some of you watching right now. Peachy. Peachy. This guy's older than you, isn't he? I'm pretty sure. Well, yeah, I, I see what you mean because of, because of the leather <laughs> and the tongue, maybe. I don't know. He's got uh, pretty cool powers. Let me put this aside. And Kyra says, I thought I knew my X-Men. Gamer says, I have coins older than any, everyone here, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's from Mojo World. Uh, you know, he, I, he may actually be from Mojo World. I, I don't know. I don't know enough about him. I saw, like, I saw a couple of YouTube videos, uh, but I'm not recalling what they said. <laughs> Horrible choice in names. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not too hot of a name. Pin squeeze oh how do I go? Pin squeezebic. Pin squizebic. He's got spawn McFarlane vibes. Phil says he's about to be 47. Is Peachy not in the chat anymore? I think Peachy may, may not be in the chat anymore, but I bet you uh that figure is older than he is. All right, here we go. Should we let's connect? Uh, let's connect the uh, the legs first. The torso. Coño. Make sure I'm putting the right arm in the socket. This, okay. You know what I just realized? Do you know what I just realized? Why am I wearing that? Nobody's talking to me. <laughs> Nobody's talking to me. Why am I wearing that? I probably should have just kept it on the whole time and not said anything, but nobody's talking to me right now. 
You guys are writing to me right now. I guess that was practice for tomorrow, 7 p.m. here at Life with Brock. Me and four of my buddies are going to be discussing our top five picks, action figure picks for tw from 2018. Now, the rule is the figure has to have been released in 2018 because, you know, for instance, I've picked up a, a quite a few DC figures that were not released. This doesn't want to go in. Cheap joke. Resisting cheap joke. And then finally the head. Let me just get a quick. Take a look, quick look at this and give you my thoughts on it. Some of you, how many of you have this figure? Man, I tell you what. It has got a nice shelf presence or desk presence. It looks good, man. DC is money with their uh, collecting connects. Now, I got the old Aries that's coming in the mail. So as soon as I get that, I'll open it live on my workbench. I gave the kitchen table and uh, and I'll bring this guy out so you can get a better look at him. But this is a really nice looking figure. Really nice looking figure. Silver for golf. Oh, he's playing. For, I know who you're talking about. You're talking about Peachy, right? Playing Fortnite. Okay, so Gamer says that he uh, on one of his live streams at the end of Hasbro needs to make an Inhumans wave with Lockjaw being the bath and Crystal being in there with rocks, water and wind. yeah that you know what that would be really awesome. You have uh there's somebody Jesse Quintero. He's got one. It's a kit, but it's unpainted so you know someone someone like Ace can get that kit and paint it up and uh, and have a nice lockjaw but yeah I, it's a it's a pretty expensive kit but when you're thinking of like what build the figures go for right now it's about that price Oh, Ten Bone says, but they gave me two right legs. Oh, that's too bad. It's a it's a sweet looking figure, man. But I don't know if it should be a build a figure. It's not big enough to be a build a figure. This should have been just a regular release. But I gotta tell you, man, the the paint on this thing and the sculpt is really nice, except for this piece back here. Where we can tell what is, what is that like. I could do that with sculpting and I'm terrible at sculpting. Like when I first started sculpting, I could have done something like that. That's, I don't know what the heck that is. I can see myself replacing that with something if I want to, but I'm looking at this figure and there's paint all over the place. This is a dynamite figure from DC. Let me see what the face looks like. Well, it's, I think they could have done something better with the eyes, paint in the eyes, but Pretty dope. All right. All right. So the dude dog said it right there. So he says he can't wait to get the king pin build a figure. So I, I, there's one on sale. There was a couple on sale actually on eBay, and it was going around like ninety ish dollars. Don't pay those crazy prices, guys. Eventually, some of those figures are going to go on sale. They're terrible. They're terrible figures. If you guys don't know, it's the reason I'm talking into it's a mic right here. They're terrible figures, but King Ping is an awesome looking figure. That is an unbelievable looking figure. I want the King Pen. I, I don't want to pay 90 bucks for him though. No way, Jose. No, 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 no. Keva. What's up, Jacob? Yo, bargain bin customs. Yeah, he could use it like a, like red eyes would look cool. I, I'd have to look at some of the DC villains. Like I know this guy. The only reason I really know much of Ares from DC is that I played the 
um, Injustice game. And Ares is in the Injustice game, but it's definitely a different look than, than this. Phil says he needs a Hulk weapon. Sierra Whiskey. Oh, Sierra Whiskey. Speaking about people that know a lot about DC figures, Sierra, can you uh, drop your link to your Instagram page? So Sierra has been cataloging all these DC figures on his Instagram. Yeah, it's kind of like a cross between maybe some of the movie and and uh, dude, I, I and the, I, I haven't read the comic. Actually, I did read a Wonder Woman comic with him in it, and I'm trying to remember the design, but I can't really remember the design. Peace out. Pin squeeze big. Kyra says Kingpin fig looks great. I'll wait for a deal. Yep. But that that's gonna be a I think a highly sought out after figure. So Ten Bones actually says, I've been wanting Puma on most on my most wanted list on Fush for like 15 years. Really? I don't even know who that guy is, really. I think I may have read something or seen a cartoon with him in it, but Okay, cool. So there's going to be people that that are that are into like they know the comics really well, and and maybe this is going to scratch an itch. Good point. Symbiote Seeker says I was looking for a Batman the Merciless base buck body that looks like a winner. That looks like a winner. Oh, what's the full name of the figure? This is Ares from DC. So the what you want, you want to get this wave right here. Check your five below. I, uh, my wife found this for me for like $5 each figure. DCUC did a fantastic, fantastic comic book version. It's coming in the mail. Uh, I just recently, I, I bought it with that 15% coupon. Uh, I did a, um, it, it, the guy was accepting offers. I think I may have picked it up for about 30 bucks. Brand new in the box with the uh, Collect and Connect piece. All right, there it is, uh, Sierra Whiskey's Instagram, Sierra Tangle Whiskey on Instagram. Symbiote Seeker, I'm, I'm going to cut out here too, fellas. One last time, remember, please, I want you all to experience, I think I think it's got potential to, uh, to have some zaniness because we got some characters going to be on there. We, gotta, we got different types of characters on uh, that are going to be on Collector Spotlight tomorrow. It is going to be the last Collector Spotlight for this year. I started it very heavily in the beginning of the year, and it kind of petered off for me. I, there are some people that I want to have on, that I've had conversations with them, that I want to have on the Collector Spotlight where I'm doing the one-on-one -on -one interview. Uh, one of them is uh, Pounds978. You guys know who he is, and uh, we've we've chatted before about it, and I think we, we're going to make that happen. And then Rob's Creature House from Instagram, he's a one-six scale painter. It's He does ridiculous, ridiculous paint. Like, you look at some of the eyeballs that he does. Go check out his Instagram page. It, it is ridiculous. So we've been talking a long time, actually, about uh, doing a collector spotlight, but I just work a lot on weekends, and I just – you know, I don't have the energy to do uh, all the different nerd stuff that I, I'm involved in right now. So please come join us tomorrow for Collector Spotlight, the end of the year, 2018. It's going to be a round robin format. We'll be talking about our top five favorite figures. We're going to have Plastic Attic, Doo Dog Reviews, T Man 978, and Tech Checker, and we'll all be giving you our opinion. All right, folks, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. That was stupid. That was stupid. Shouldn't have done that. That was stupid, but kind of funny. <laughs>